basically we've got a 14.8 uh, upper with mid gas and the conventional plate in the adjustable gas block and Robert's going to demonstrate it functions without the uh, suppressor attached in the unsuppressed mode. So we have 430 ejection. Uh, go ahead, clear that, and we'll put the first can on. So you can demonstrate it with the M4 2000. We'll demonstrate this thing firing uh, in the unsuppressed mode. So this is the normal user experience for this suppressor. Okay, see that second round ejected at like one o'clock? Go ahead and switch to suppressed. And you see a decent amount of smoke in the vicinity of the shooter's face. And now we've got 430 ejection with the M4 2000. So go ahead, clear that, and we'll switch to the Griffin can. So we're just gonna demonstrate for the sake of demonstration, a pair of cans with both these, the conventional and the unconventional plates. So we'll just leave it in the suppressed mode. Very soft. Nice. This is our second upper. We have the handguard removed so you can see the gas block. We're gonna demonstrate the low back pressure plates function. So this is just the normal mode, uh, unsuppressed. So you see 430 ejection and bright flash. So right now it's in the unsuppressed mode. We'll give you, we'll give you uh, four rounds then. So you can shoot uh, two normal and then we can switch. All right. So unsuppressed mode. So you got like three o'clock ejection, flip the position to suppressed. And then flip it 180 to suppressed and we'll switch cans to the RC3. So now we're gonna use the larger aperture. And the RC3 is lower back pressure than the Lazarus 6, but they're both in the low back pressure class. And this is demonstrating that the plate via two different settings on the different 180 degree sides uh, can, can accommodate them both. 